Manager's report brought to you by Geico. Aaron, it was announced that Gio Urshela left with lower back tightness. When did he start, first start feeling that, and are there any tests scheduled for Gio? Uh, no, no test schedule. Um, I think I think they feel that it's going to be something that is day to day. I think it just locked up a little bit on him, probably in the cold before his last at bat. Um, you know, I think I think even probably maybe could have continued even, but we'll see how he is after getting some treatment here and. Um, I don't think it's anything too serious. Hits and runs are once again hard to come by. What did you think of your team's at bats and approach as a whole? Yeah, um, you know, we had a couple opportunities. Um, you know, not not enough to to really break through. We had the one bases loaded uh, opportunity there, where where I thought we had some good good at bats to put ourselves in position. DJ hit the ball hard, but right at right at the third baseman. Uh, I think we had another first and second, but just weren't able to generate enough, get enough going. Um, you know, we just got to, we got to, you know, as a group, just continue to, to lean on each other, trust in each other, um, and, and trust in just taking it one at bat, one pitch at a time. We got to play that way right now. Corey Kluver looked sharp for four, but then really seemed to lose the zone in, in the fifth. What? caused that what led to him really kind of losing the strike zone there yeah um you know i thought there were a couple couple times you know and you know i think obviously it being cold and and windy i think at, at times was a little bit tough getting the feel i think even even in some of his early innings where he had some of his misses were a little bit scattered and it might have had to do with a little bit the weather but i thought the stuff was good uh i thought he was generating a lot of soft contact um you know the the freeman at bat you know, I think he was, you know, pitching, you know, very carefully once that there was kind of a base open in that situation. So, um, you know, overall, I thought the stuff was good, and, and he, he gave us a chance. We just, you know, obviously didn't mount, mount enough offensively. Andy Martino, go ahead. Uh, I know there's a lot of different reasons why a guy might not get down the line real quick, depending. So what did you see with Glaber there in that comeback, or in, were you okay with that? Um, well, I, I think anytime you got a, that kind of situation where a guy's got to get off the mound, you got to get after it. I think initially the check swing, he just probably in his mind foul ball right away, and then it's like, oh no, I got to get going, and then you're a little late. So, I mean, that's got to be a little bit better, obviously. Is that something you would speak to him about? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Dave Lennon, please unmute. Hey, Aaron, as part of that, do you have to work to maybe combat some of this frustration that, that's going on with some of these guys? I mean, it, it's understandable considering the stretch that you guys are going through. I just wanted to, in seeing tonight's game, if, if you saw a little bit of that with, with some of the body language with some of the guys. I don't know. I mean, look, I, I think it's the age old when you when you struggle, you know, offensively, there's there's that look of a little bit of lifelessness, a little bit of lacking energy you know is is what it looks like but i i think it's it's guys in the fight right now that are grinding away and so yeah i mean it's it's on all of us to make sure we're you know not only locked in which i know we are um but also you know why you're why you're taking your lumps and why you're getting beat up a little bit to make sure your your mindset is of of is strong but also positive uh, especially when we're talking about guys that um you know, have a really strong track record. Marley Rivera, go ahead. Aaron, you just talked about staying positive, but how difficult is it to do when this uh, continues to happen, particularly with the scoring? Uh, not, not difficult. Um, Why not? Believe in our guys, uh, know who they are, um, know we're going to mash. Um, you know, it's it's definitely frustrating when you're going through it. But as far as is it hard to stay positive? Not at all. Um, you know, I know we're walking out there with with heavy artillery each and every night. Uh, we just got to unlock it right now and we will. Um, so it's frustrating that it doesn't happen tonight or, you know, every game you go out there. But is it hard to stay positive? Not at all.